Hey everyone, my name is Christy Buckmiller and I am here at GIFT, GIFT Bible Studies. So we are doing lesson six of the Give Thanks workbook. So this lesson is called In That Day. We're going to read from three different chapters in the Old Testament. Two of them are in Psalms, so Psalm 6 is what we're going to start off. And then the next one is Psalm 57 and then it's in Isaiah 12 is the third one. So they're pretty short chapters. I should be able to go through them pretty fast. Um, but anyways, let's begin. So, O oh Lord, rebuke me not in thy anger, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O oh Lord, uh, for I am weak. O oh Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. So right here, he's like, Lord, help me. I am weak. How many times when we actually admit that we cannot do this on our own, have mercy, I am weak, the Lord steps in. Isn't he great? Isn't he great? We have to lower that pride, Come admit that we are weak. My soul is also sore vexed, but thou, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver my soul. O save me from for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave who shall give thanks? Who shall give thanks if I'm dead? That's what he's saying right here. I am weary with my groaning all the night. Make I my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. My eyes, my eyes consumed because of grief. It waxen old because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all you workers of equinity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. Have you ever, I know I've dealt with it, where something bad has happened in your life and you felt like you were swimming in your tears every day. We've all been there. If you haven't, then most likely it will happen. I mean, it's just... We're going to go through things. We're going to go through trials. Um, but the Lord is good and he is worthy to be praised. The Lord has heard my subluxation. The Lord will receive my prayer. He will receive it. He will receive it. Stand on that promise. Let all my enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. So the enemies could just be the works of the devil, the work of your own flesh as well. Okay, so let's read Psalms 56, or not 56, 57. Be merciful unto me, O my soul, trusted in, for my soul trusted in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. So we will make our refuge, our shelter in his embrace until the ruin, the wickedness that's going on in our life will pass. Because there's no other place to be. This is how we, we do it in prayer. We just do it. If you have no thing to say, if you don't know what to say, meditate on his word. Meditate. Just think about the goodness of God. Think about miracles that he's done. Just think about that. Let your mind be overcome by that. If you, if you just don't know what else to do. I will cry unto the Lord most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. He completes all things for you. He performs all things for you. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Selah. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. He will send forth his mercy and truth. Mercy and truth is such a balance. We, we need mercy and we need truth. We can't be too much mercy and not enough truth. And we can't be too truth 
into this word and not enough mercy. We have to have that balance. And as Christians, this balance gets teeter-tottered all the time. We may end up with too much truth and it may end up hurting people or we may end up with too much mercy and not enough truth. And the only way to keep that balance in line is with God. We can't do that on our own. We can't. We, as much as we try to do it, it, is, it doesn't happen. We, we just can't. We will fail. It is only able to happen with God. My soul is among lions and I lie even among them that are set on fire. Even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongues, tongue, a sharp sword. What? So our tongue can be a sharp sword. We know that. It says over and over again. It's many different verses. There's life and death and the power of tongue. There's several different things. We, we have to watch our words. And, um, but, if, but no, offenses will come. And we are going to be offended and we are going to offend somebody. It is just part of human nature. That's why the love of God is so need it and once again we cannot do this on our uh, on our own this is god that intervenes and as we grow in him our words will grow our our everything will grow our demeanor will grow in him everything will grow as we get closer to him and deny ourselves and move towards him we will see that growth it is beautiful he has changed me and shown me so many different things. And it didn't happen just like that. It was an overtime thing. And it happened with failures and different things. You know how many times I've said, why did I say that? Lord, forgive me. Help me with my words. And he has. He has. Now, I'm not perfect by all means. But um, I've learned in that that I have to give grace to others and speak. Lord, forgive them. They, do, they know not what they do. They know not what they do. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me unto the mist, wherefore they are fallen themselves. I thought this was like, I, so they dig a pit for somebody. But they're in the pit themselves. Do not let us walking up here and then people down in the pit. We don't leave them there. We try to help them. But don't let them pull you down into that pit with them. Help them out the best you can. But do not let them get a hold of you and pull you down. Because some of them will. But you give them love and you try to pull them out of that pit the best you can but you keep that level up here you keep your level up here don't be pulled down into that pit with them my heart is fixed oh god my heart is fixed i will sing and give praise awake up my glory awake psalm street and harp I myself will awake early and I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thy, thee among the nations, for thy mercy is great unto the heavens and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Okay, so last section. This is just six verses song or it's not songs anymore it's isaiah isaiah 12 1 so it's a hymn of thanksgiving and in that day thou shalt say O lord i will praise thee though thou was angry with me thy anger is turned away and thou comforted so he was angry with him but yet it was turned away and now he it, he comforts it saying it, he comforts him the lord comforts him behold god is my salvation i will trust and not be afraid for the lord jehovah is my strength my song he also is become my salvation 
Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. I was meditating on this verse earlier and I was like, what does that mean? Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. So I think of wells, okay, there's wells. We need to draw from it. So two verses came to my mind when reading this. One of them is work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. This is in Philippians 2.12. And then the other one is draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So we draw from that well of salvation it is a well it's a water it's that living water we need to draw near to it we have to do something we can't just sit around at the very top and thinking that we don't have to do anything 